Crisis. A game that, when it launched in 2007, was a huge landmark in all of gaming, as not only has it seen the most impressive visuals to date, but also it ran horrendously on pretty much any PC from the time, which of course led to the age-old question of will it run Crisis? A question that nowadays seems pretty trivial, because anything can run Crisis nowadays. It's no sweat for modern PCs, and instead, the title has been inherited by games like the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. But what exactly about this game made it so hard to run? Are all these jokes and memes about it really founded in reality? Did nothing ever run Crisis? And exactly how easy is it to run nowadays? Well, recently I got my hands on a boxed copy of the game, so... Let's go ahead and answer those questions, because you may have recently seen that on this amazing channel called Avrunner, I have done a restoration of a old PC from the late aughts. However, despite, you know, setbacks like the graphics card setting itself on fire, in the end I ended up with a decent late aughts PC running Windows XP. So of course, it's a perfect candidate to try this game on and see if it can run Crisis. But don't worry, we will be also trying it out on some more modern systems that I have lying around to see exactly how hard is it to run with more modern hardware. So within our first PC, we have ourselves a Phenom 2x4 CPU from 2009 that stars 4 cores, 4 threads and runs at a whopping 3 GHz. Along with it we have 4 GB of RAM, that's DDR2 by the way, and also a Quadro 2000 graphics card with a whopping 1 GB of VRAM. Yes, we are truly in a lap of luxury, so for those times it's a pretty average machine. And yes, I know that the Quadro 2000 isn't the most amazing graphics card, which you know, suffered from committing explosive server coup. And here we are in Windows XP Bliss. So let's get started, turn on Crisis and see how well it performs. So why exactly was Crisis over here so difficult to run? Well, when Crytek, the developers of the game, released CryEngine 2, they set out to create something that would become the best engine for graphical fidelity for not just 2007, but for years to come. People were already impressed with what the CryEngine 1 could do back when Crytek released Far Cry in 2004, and just guessing that Crytek had some unresolved issues, making it that every single thing they release has Cry in the name. But primarily when it comes to physics, and overall graphical quality and texture quality, the game was unmatched by anything else, which made that even some of the best hardware on the market, like for example the 8800 Ultra, their highest performing graphics card released at that time, barely managed to get a playable frame rate. And even a triple SLI setup with those cards was just barely enough to really take full advantage of the highest quality settings in this game. But today we'll be seeing if we can do this with our PC. So I'll be using Fraps up there to see exactly what kind of frame we're getting. For graphics, we are currently running at the highest settings we are allowed, so high. And then for resolution, we're currently playing at 1280 by 720, which I assume should be like a decent a, a decent start for now. We just tried it out yesterday to see if everything works fine. It like it seemed fine, so we'll see if we can maybe, you know, pump it up to 1080, for example. What a what a luxury, I know. Okay, here we are, let's get started. This is running at 720p, I remind you. We're getting a whopping 40fps on a graphics card from... Granted, a graphics card from 2010. But, uh, you know, features-wise, it was about uh, in the, you know, 2009 range, really. And let's go down here, and as you can see, I mean, for today's standards, it doesn't look the best, but, okay, maybe bad example, I'm looking at foil foliage. And that's something that even, you know, modern developers can't seem to get looking good. But, like, overall, you can definitely see that the resolution isn't doing justice, but, wow. This actually looks pretty cool. This actually looks pretty impressive for 2000 and, uh, two 2007. Like, I can definitely see what all the fuss is about. Uh, use binoculars. Oh boy, that was a bit of a... <laughs> you can see our frame rate is dropping quite a bit when I use these. Okay. And, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of artifacting going on in these trees and the palm trees over there. But, let's have a... And I can barely even make out that guy on there, on the docks. It just looks like a few... It kind of looks like a 2D sprite from like some like old adventure game. Um, 
let's instead so let's go and turn up our graphic settings to 1080 and see if uh, we make <laughs> if we make it cry or not uh, get it cry crisis cry yeah I'll be quiet uh, oh boy okay so at a resolution where the trees look less like someone trying to draw a tree from memory uh, we're getting 22 FPS and they crash nope okay random lag screen wait what okay never mind I think you just detected that you know uh, yeah you know you're not having a good time with that I'm gonna revoke you down back to 720 let's try 1440 let's see if we <laughs> let's see if we can push it let's see how far we can push it shall we before the, just the whole thing crashes oh boy oh boy okay let's see if we can at least get a kill hello there oh boy this is this is not fun are we in single FPS yet almost ah crates <laughs> battles I think actually were <laughs> actually no before we continue I have to see it this is a 4k monitor which means that we're able to go all the way up to there it is 3840 by 2160 4k on a computer from the late aughts let's go can we do it ah! <laughs> no we are getting 6 fps 7 fps 5 fps oh boy um i can't even yeah that's what i expected <laughs> Okay, um, so don't play this game at uh, 4K with a computer from like 2009 or so. But I mean, I, I gotta say, so far I've been like enjoying the game. It is just something about it's like classic shooters from that era. Like, it's simple enough that it's just like cathartic. It's not like so over the top like so many modern games. And I need a new gun, I ran out of ammo. Um, quick, 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 quick. So I guess now we can kind of see what the fuss was about. It's ridiculously hard to run at any resolution and doesn't look pretty horrendous. Sure, for this PC, 720p was like at least a sweet spot when it comes to, you know, uh, actual good performance. But that lack of resolution, as you've seen, made it that the game is really almost difficult to play because you can hardly even make out some things like, you know, enemies or things far away. Now, instead, let's try it with a more slightly modern PC over here to see if it, it could run it fine. And in fact, this is like my first proper gaming PC I've ever owned right here. So, and I got it back in around, you know, 2013. So we'll see how that goes. Now at first sight, because of that Ryzen Gen Wraith Prism stock cooler, you may think that there's some kind of good Ryzen CPU or something inside, but nope, it is an FX8350 CPU. A rather controversial CPU, but like I explained on my channel before, it's not actually that bad. And in fact, I'll be doing an up-to-date version of that video very soon, so definitely subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. FX8350 is an 8-core, 8-thread CPU that can go all the way up to 4.2 GHz, and along with that, we have 16 GB of of RAM and you know we're stepping up now because it's DDR3 and not DDR2 and for graphics cards we have ourselves a Radeon R9 280X a pretty decent graphics card from the early 2010s so let's see if this manages any better now already one of the main advantages of running crisis on a newer machine is that instead of having to track down a you know a physical copy you can just get them from say Steam or say uh, Origin, which is actually how I got it from, because you can get it on EA Play for like $5 a month. And did it just crash? Okay, so here we are. So for starters, let's just go back to the same things we had before, starting with 1280 by 780 and everything high as it should be. And what's interesting is that now we unlock the very high settings. So let's go stick to high, so to have a apples to apples comparison. And then we could jump up to very high to see what it does. And uh, as I said, if it crashed again, I would have been very mad. But let's just get going, shall we? I mean, not to mention that the loading is way faster because instead of using a uh, an IDE hard drive, we're using a normal SATA SSD, which is always it's always quite improved. Me, look how much faster. Yeah, this is so much faster than before. Also, look, that's actually like all, exactly a month ago, I think, from the day of filming. Yeah, it's like that's exactly a month ago. That is. That is, that's actually so cool. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing how back then people thought like 2020 would be, you know, this year, like this sci-fi year. There we are, we drop in, we're, there we go, where we dropping, boys. There's also another thing I've noticed about get, like uh, FPS games from 
that kind of time is that all of the characters are these like extra manly like Duke Nukem wannabes almost. Yeah, I'm super broody. I just want to kill some North Koreans, you know. But look at this, 101 FPS at the same settings. Let's, while we're, while we're uh, falling down here, let's up the resolution a, at least a tad, to uh, 1080p, which is somewhere. Keep the resolution. Still, 80 and 90 FPS. That's decent. We're, um, in fact, we're actually getting quite a bit of screen tearing, it looks like. Let me just wait, let me just land, and then I'm gonna increase the settings again. Okay, okay, so now maybe let's try these, like, better settings that it gives us. I have no idea why they weren't available before. i assuming it's because that graphics card doesn't support, like, uh, DirectX, whatever. It would have been a time that this game would have required, so 10? Am I right in saying that? Yeah, I, th I think it's 10, that was, like, the new thing. So maybe that's why. So this is Crisis maxed out at 1080p. Which, like, even for, even for, like, uh, 2020, it could kind of, you know, it's kind of starting to show its age, and we, really, we aren't even getting, like, even, F we, like, dipping underneath 60 FPS sometimes, like, right now we're at 70, but, like, if I get into some, uh, I wonder, if I get into, like, combat ahead, so I, I guess it would go down even further. Let's try like a let's try a high resolution because come on, who plays at 1080p nowadays? Let's try out. Let's go all the way to 4040. There we go, 2K. Here we go. That's actually not too bad. Like it, it looks way crisper now, and we're like 50 f f 50 FPS. This is not bad at all. Now, granted, it's still amazing that in a game from 2007 we are still running sub 60 fps uh, on the computer from around 2013 but granted it is at 2k so a resolution that you know wasn't too prevalent back then um let me just get into some combat and see ya see ya okay the, okay yeah um now ow ow give me the other gun there we go now the FPS drops quite a bit when um you know I'm firing, but at least unlike with 720p, I can actually see what I'm firing at because with that in 720p with you know iron sights and such a low resolution, actually shooting these guys was actually uh pretty pretty difficult. This is actually running okay for the final test. Then let's give 4K a go. Let's see if it uh manages to be above like uh a single digit FPS. <laughs> This is the final challenge. Running Crisis at 4K max settings. Let's go. Oh boy. And 20 FPS. So that's like a 10 FPS improvement. Like 15 FPS improvement, I guess. Honestly. Okay, it is not... It is pretty bad, but like... At 4K, this game still looks pretty good. Like, again, foliage... I don't know what it is, but like, devs can never get foliage looking good. And now, for the final PC, we're going to go with a decent modern gaming rig, which is my personal PC, which I use for pretty much everything from gaming to video editing. It has a Ryzen 7 3700X CPU, an 8 core 16 thread CPU that can go all the way to 4.4 GHz, 32GB of RAM, we're finally at the DDR4 stage, and also a GTX 1080i. And just as a quick comparison to show you how far we've gone in the last 10 years or so, th that Quadro 2000 card had a single gigabyte of VRAM. This TI has 11. Here we go, our final step of our journey together today. Just for old time's sake, let's start off at the same 720 resolution, which is here somewhere. And we are rocking almost four, we almost passed 400 there. Uh, like around 200 to 300 FPS as, you know, it's kind of to be expected for a PC like this. Let's go straight up to, uh, let's go straight up to 1080p and max settings, see what that's like. And the FPS is still amazing. We're like almost at 200 FPS, which is like, which is almost kind of low, given that this is still a game from 2007. 
And nowadays we have, you know, monitors that are designed to take advantage of like, you know, 360 FPS with like, you know, so the new 360 hertz monitors that are being released. And this is at 1080, so the same resolution as those 360 hertz monitors. And yet we are still, you know, we're not, right now we're not even reaching 144 FPS, which is like kind of like the standard for like high, high refresh rate monitors right now. Now let's go for 1440, let's see what that's like. And I'm gonna assume it's uh, more of the same. Actually, the FPS, the FPS is like pretty much identical. It is way sharper though. The image is way sharper. It mainly looks like the foliage is the main thing that suffers at low FPS. And what is that? Uh, are you guys seeing that? that? That helicopter didn't seem quite right to me. <laughs> oh wow. And at 4K, we are at around 80 FPS. Now granted, I can actually make out the detail in the foliage finally, even if it is still kind of actually very pixelated. But yeah, this is, I mean, this monitor can only display a maximum of 60 FPS, so. But it's still, you know, really playable. I, I can't really complain. Like, but still, it amazes me that even though we're playing such an old game, that FPS is just, you know, not really that amazing for this time period. Okay, let's get into some action here and see what that's like. Uh, I gotta say, I will probably play some more Crisis after this video because I'm really liking this game so far. Even if I'm sick of replaying this first, uh, these first few minutes <laughs> after this video. So yeah, Crisis still almost difficult to run nowadays. But graphically wise, it is at least okay-ish nowadays, but it's still going to be laughable when compared to more modern games. But we cannot deny what this game has accomplished for gaming as a whole. It was a huge step forward when it comes to graphics. And hey, if nothing else, we can at least thank it for all the memes. And I'll gladly play some more of it after this video is done. But I'm hoping that you enjoyed taking this journey with me, exploring the age-old question of can it run Crisis? And hey, if you want to support me for finally answering this age-old question, then maybe consider checking out my Patreon down in the video description below. Because even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping me make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics. I would also love to thank my Patreon LKB for supporting the channel. Thank you ever so so much. It really does help. Anyway, that's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in what I like next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.